Hey, welcome to the Glass City. I am really an impatient corner channel. Um, the garage got finished, well, like, you know, the exterior structure about an, two hours ago. And of course, I had to pull two cars in. It's raining. Uh, I have three cars in Westmoreland County right now. I live an hour away in Pittsburgh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I had to build like a little makeshift ramp um, to get this in here. So this is my 1989 Toyota Camry five speed the boomer box uh i just had about 30 little dents taken out of it there were a lot of waves in the doors on this side uh, my paint correction not paint correction my uh dentless uh paintless dent removal guy uh went above and beyond on this car it looks fantastic so um i wanted to get it out of the rain because it's going to be here for a little while and then i came out here in this and this thing poor thing is just doesn't get enough screen time uh it is my daily driver is honestly the dreamiest of dream cars for me because it's just right it's just enough of that era of toyota with all the modern amenities including wired carplay i might uh have to uh, do a little mod for wireless carplay uh we'll see anyway a uh, couple things this is progressing nicely this was the focus of the week so we are standing in my garage my new garage out here in Hemphill Township Jeanette Pennsylvania uh, so I wanted to kind of have scale in here to know how everything's gonna look here so there'll be a little forerunner update here throughout this video there's two things coming on this forerunner at least two big things um, but I just wanted to see how it looked. With two cars, there's plenty of room around here. So if you look over here, I could have a nice workbench. Or if I put this over to the very end and was able to get one of the cars, I could get out the other side. Then pull another one in the center and the likewise over here, probably two, pull the two in on the other end. I can fit a third car in the middle here. I can squeeze vehicles in here. <clears throat> and the reason I pulled this up was to show you that's the end of the big, ginormous garage door. And remember, this is a TRD Pro, one inch factory lift and that handy dandy little basket on the top, which makes you nervous every time you pull into a parking garage that you've not pulled into before. And I wanted to pull it up here so you could see. So remember, I'm gonna have a bathroom uh, probably to this, probably will go to this stud straight out and it'll go to that is the wall because that is the vent pipe that vents out there so that's going to be the bathroom it's going to take up space then you're going to have washer dryer um heat air ac uh hot water heater and you know every probably a laundry sink out here so you're going to have all your essentials it'll probably take you to about to here so when you're coming in um you're going to have a lot less space well a little bit more space here so i'm probably gonna have a ben pack four post lift here so i can double stack because this is why i went as high as i did i wanted to make sure i could double stack a car i don't know if i'm going to do it here i might um just simply for storage so you know a camry and a celica stacked in there and maybe something a little bit bigger in this one because you can go back a little bit deeper that takes care of four cars then now um pricing it out probably do a double stack here like a side by side joined at the four posts so there's two uh, six post lift two posts a bigger post here and post on the end you can fit four cars on them run them independently um so i do that so there's four eight there's eight can i pull another one in here nine and this is what i wanted to see because you know okay this is one of my longer vehicles of course i have the uh, Chrysler 16 foot long, but then I got that little uh, weather tech step on the back. I don't know about you, but I think with this angle in here, you know, and it's all up, I could uh, slide another car back in here for storage. So uh, I'm thinking four, eight, nine, possibly 10. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, but if I, if the main criteria is max space in here, 
and I don't have, I, you know, I mean, I really don't have 10 cars that I would be storing in here, but having the ability to do so might work. Um, I want to see the measurements because I also want something I can actually do a project in. So maybe this is the project lift. Um, or I, so I'm really, if you want to give feedback and, and I am going to have someone come out here and take a look at it and kind of give me their idea. But I wanted to have a little video so you can see what I'm looking at. And remember, this is as big as a garage I could put on this structure. Six inch thick concrete with a four uh, inches of gravel underlay. Uh, so it's set up for those lifts. So I don't have to be particular where I put the lifts, uh, but I do want to put them in, you know, in, uh, in the right spot. So remember, these bushes are going to be gone. You're going to have garage out here, garage out here, straight to the road, uh, ability to pull in here. Um, <clears throat> that tree stump and everything around there is going to stay as a natural barrier. Uh, build a little bit of a landscaping around it. Chips on the side here. And as we go out, chips all the way through there where you see the mud it'll be chips and you know the, the, you see the topography how it gradually goes up there so it's just chips i don't have to build a retaining wall here or anything special um it, it'll work out fine we won't have problems with water can run down to the street and it, it you can see with this wash that we're having today it is doing how it should be doing and we're not going to have any problems okay so there's plenty of room in here and I was wondering about this because not only, I'm not gonna be storing this forerunner in here. This is my daily driver, it'll be at my house. Probably the Corvette will be at my house, those two cars. And a lot of these are small, but I do have a 1978 Ford Bronco, about the same height, you know, road to roof as that with the little roofie rack. Um, so I, I do need a place where I can put a single vehicle that's tall. Then I don't have to worry about it. And I could probably put that and have a small car above it. But um, I do want to have one area where I can pull in. So the thought is maybe I forego a lift on the end here and the Bronco goes there or, um, you know, and that might be the perfect space for it. Uh, th this is the, this is where the, you know, the tape measures and pulling something in and getting a, a reference really helps. So. I'm very lucky to be in this situation. I'm very happy to be in this situation. This is over a year in the making. Um, I will have electric service here within the next two weeks. Um, we'll have the water service hooked in, the sewage hooked in, and uh, we're gonna go full on to uh, get this place uh, through its framing inspection, which is, um, you know, plumbing and framing. They did the preliminary framing inspection and gave me some input that I'm giving to the builders on there, some minor things that they wanna have answered. And I like that, I appreciate having, uh, knowing that my structure is properly built and they were very favorable about it and uh, the inspectors. So then this, once the electricity is in here, my electrician who's done stuff for me for 25 years, uh, we walk through it really quickly and he's built a couple garages uh, for himself, his son. So he knows what I'm after here and we walked it and he likes it and we're gonna, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and go full on with a couple little things we wanna get. It's gonna be heated, it's gonna be air conditioned. Uh, I'll have fans hung up through here so it can circulate the air. Uh, probably to put in like uh, sheeting that, that you can unbolt and bolt on here, uh, insulate it and then we're going to, um, you know, just have it all ready to go. The garage doors will be in um, as early as Monday, this is Friday. So, a little quick, a uh, little quick. Okay, we have doors. <laughs> the, all three doors are installed. They're leveling the two nine foot doors. And uh, took a little video of them operating from the inside. They are the kind of doors. The frame goes all the way to the ceiling of the uh, garage and the motors are on the side, so nothing intrudes. So when you walk into this garage, you'll see nothing but um, you know what needs to be in there. So the, the door frames go up and out of the way, the doors go up and out of the way. 
they hug the top of the ceiling so you don't have any issue. And uh, congratulations to my daughter who picked these out. Um, I gave her the samples and she knew what the siding looked like and she thought these would look really nice. And she had a good eye. She has a good eye for that. Like her mom. So she, uh, she really did a good job picking these out. These look nice. I might have to redo the doors on <laughs> my rental house because it really looks sharp. But anyway, um, I'll take a really quick walk in here and show you. And this is Monday. The garage was put up on Thursday and Friday of last week. And today they're doing this. So see how they go all the way up to the top. They don't interfere and you have your motor right there out of the way this is all like commercial grade and I wanted to make sure that these were pretty much the best I could get on there because I didn't want to mess with this and I didn't want to go ahead and ruin my um, you know ruin the functionality of this garage with uh, cheaper doors so anyway uh, really cool and uh, I'm excited I'll have these all set up I have uh, codes on there for all the different doors that open them independently three switches on my garage door um, remote that'll come with it and uh, I'm gonna be in business to get this thing finished. okay they're just pulling out so that means that the initial build of this garage is officially complete this is my 16 foot door um, one section's dented on the inside, so they're ordering me a new piece. So they'll come back out in a couple weeks when they get this. But I mean, I love the trim. The trim matches my rental house over here. This was a certain size uh, vinyl siding. They had to find it, but they did find it for me. So I had the exact kind of siding I had on it. So I'm gonna punch in my code here. These doors are running on battery backup. There is no electricity to the house. It's a little wet out here today, so I'm gonna have to uh, come out in a couple days and charge these battery backups up until I get that. Now, what's cool is um, I threw the uh, um, bolts on here. Those automatically deadbolt when it's on electricity. It's on battery backup, so right now they do not so hit the buttons and what you're gonna see here is see how these motors are right there they're out of the way they're not in any kind of in uh, interference with the functionality of this garage so check this out look at look at your stops there there's your safety stops so I have a lift here, a lift here, two lifts here. I am not worrying about those lifts interfering with the proper operation of this garage. It's kind of a big garage for one little old Camry, but this one's gonna be leaving here soon to go get some work done on it. And uh, I've been thinking about my winter plans. <laughs> <laughs> the big thing is I got to get the landscaping done. We have, uh, this is the remnants of that hurricane still with us. And we got nothing compared to, you know, uh, with those folks down in Florida on up uh, Carolinas. Um, it's horrible. Uh, I feel so, so, so bad for you folks. I was just watching that on the news. I've been to Asheville before and what a beautiful town. Um, but we're having a little rain. And I'm going, getting to see what happens here. So this is really, you know, there's nothing much here. I got to get gutters on here, but I'm getting a new roof on the rental house. So when I do it, I'll have them do that at the same time. Um, as we go out here, you can see it's pretty good. There's uh, some divots uh, that all this is going to get kind of filled in with dirt and everything that I might carve out a little bit more right there that one little thing it looks like a little cavern <laughs> there the way that's shale though that's how shale uh, looks around here anytime you dig in shale which this part of western Pennsylvania is a shale area uh, a lot of natural gas on here uh, because of that but um, 
you know, we'll cut the pipe down, we'll get all that in here, and you're gonna see all of this coolness. Um, so, the garage, it is constructed. Uh, as soon as that is out, we have this landscape. You'll have your two main doors in. You'll have your ginormous, basically like a hangar bay. Uh, this is this is functional with a capital F. Um, pretty awesome. I, I'm real excited about it. So this is going to be a long video that's all called together from Thursday of last week, Friday of last week, and today, Monday, which is September 30th, 2024. The three days, the three big days of getting this garage erected and undercover we've got some more stuff to do obviously we got to do all the finish work in here but that's going to move at a pretty rapid pace i'm going to call set up the electrical service here uh coordinate with my plumber uh my electrician my plumber is also my heating and air conditioning person so we are going to do boom everything all at once we're going to get that done once that passes the township inspection and they come in and they see that our pipes and everything are where they should be then i can put up the walls here um get that all set up but i think what i'm going to do uh before i put the walls in and on there i might have the um I might have the floor done after all this is done, but I still need to have, once that's done, I, I still need to have the walls insulated and all that. So uh, family member is a spray foam insulation expert and I'm gonna be contacting them soon uh, and we'll get that done. So we get this properly insulated and we get it uh, basically functioning. And then the finished stuff, like finishing the bathroom and you know the walls and putting, you know, we're looking at some board and batten, something that we can put on the end here. Decorative, but functional. If you bump it, um, it's not the end of the world. It's not gonna be drywall. We're not putting drywall in here. I want something that's kind of a water resistant. So if I am spraying down one of my uh, ill thought out purchases, um, you know, I don't have to worry about it maybe getting on the wall and hurting anything. So a lot to be determined uh, coming up there. We're going to make wiring um, a video on wiring uh, for the lifts and figuring out what we want with the lifts. I think in my mind, I figured out what I want for my lifts. Um, I think <laughs> I might change my mind, but I think I got it. Uh, so anyway, um, thank you very much long video but again from start to finish we're undercover and we're very close to a finished product and I need to move on that sooner rather than later it is October almost and today had the first day where it really felt like fall so the the, the days are getting shorter the weather is getting chillier this rain was needed but also <laughs> It is chilly. So have a great day and uh, like, subscribe, check out the other videos. Check out the videos on that, the Celicas, the Forerunner on the other side over there. Um, <clears throat> I'm really loading up the miles on the Forerunner and I just did a video on the um, Forerunner and fluid film. If you want to learn about that, please tune into that. Or if you got to my channel because of that, thank you very much check that out get that going on there fluid film or wool wax um, <clears throat> those are the kind of things you need on your vehicles so as the lights go dim i will say have a great day